Hello my friends, John LaRufa here with another Unbiased Unboxing. In this episode, we're going to take a look at Vengeance, Roll and Fight, Episode 1. Let's go ahead and see what's inside this little guy. And as usual, folks, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And if you have, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, so I do like the fact that I see all the contents of what we get inside the box. It would be even cooler if they could kind of see it set up, but that's all right. At least I see the components. I appreciate that. That's the main thing for me. They do have a list of components on the outside as well, and that's cool. The um, front of the box and such doesn't do too much for me one way or the other with the artwork. It's got that cartoon-esque kind of look, which is fine. It's not bad. It's just... I don't really care one way or the other. So I guess if you're going to have a uh, a game, though, about clobbering people, it's probably good to do it in a little bit of a cartoon-esque style versus having something a little more realistic on the front. So I'll give you that. Okay, inside the box, nothing special there. We come to the rule book here. Now, I have tried to read the rules already, and I was a little disappointed because... They just don't give you enough examples. Plain and simple. They tell you about it. I can see that all the rules are here, but I don't see the examples that I would like to see. And they went for a short rule book, and they could have easily uh, helped us out with a little bit more meat on the bones there. And that's too bad, in my opinion. Okay. Now, this is all laminated because it's going to be writable, which I think is good. So this cardboard is kind of on the medium thin side um but it's sturdy enough because of the laminate finish there so you've got your different abilities here all going to be popped out and there's a decent amount of them okay then we've got a bunch of game boards here and player boards so they make it clear about what number they are, which is fine. And then you've got said so one, two right there, three and four. And you can definitely tell these are all going to be fine to use for a roll and write or a roll and fight, however you want to look at it. And the scenes are cool. They're colorful. I see they have some lighting effects on there, which is nice. Happy about that. By the way, this is not the Kickstarter edition. I just bought this, um, you know, just regular edition retail okay so there's 10 different maps <clears throat> in the episode one box and then you have one character so these i think are all the same yes so there's four then then character boards all identical and what makes them different is the cards and such that you put on there <clears throat> excuse me okay then we have just a ton of these fight dice which is kind of the resource so to speak in this game because you're rolling them and as you roll them and they look fine they're plastic they're decent weight um as you roll them they are going to be things you're going to want to keep rolling from a time frame of how fast you can roll it so that you get the combos you need as far as i can understand it but as you get these icons once you get this you can't roll it again until you release it somehow and you could do that in the, uh, you know, in a specific way when you lock dice. So here's our uh, roll and fight markers here, the dry erase. Just to take a look at the quality, let's see. So looking at, you know, how well they mark. Marking should be no problem. That's not a problem at all. At least they're uh, not dry or anything. And then erase-wise, they seem to erase just fine. So good. No real worry or issue there. Then we have these little icons, uh, icons, pardon me, little tokens for our different players. We've got one, two, three, and four. And they're kind of interesting in the fact that they are not cardboard. They are um, plastic acrylic with a print on the back. Hopefully that won't scratch off or anything. All right, so you got four of those, and then we have our small little deck of cards here. <clears throat> and I don't know what size these cards are. I don't know if they're USA size or Euro size as far as the mini, but they're definitely mini. And looking at the card quality here, 
definitely going to want to sleeve these if you're a sleever. They're, they're fine. They're actually decent thickness, I should say, but there's uh, a little bit of a grit there. This one was, is smoother, so, um, but there's no real texture. I guess you don't have to sleeve them. They're just going to sit there. Um, they're more for reference than anything else. So, there we go. That's the components. There's a lot, I think, going on. I mean, 10 different boards, so there's going to be a lot of different... Um, arenas and such to fight on in this episode i like what i see here i'm looking forward to giving it a try i love rolling rights plain and simple those who have watched my channel know i've got a lot of different ones in this one and i'm looking forward to seeing what it offers okay everybody thanks for watching and whatever you do in the future i hope you have a fantastic time doing it take it easy everybody